Louis Leakey was born on August 7, 1903. He would soon become one of the most influential members of the anthropology community. He was born of British missionaries in Kenya, Africa. Lewis's parents were doing missionary work with the Kikuyu tribe in Kenya. Despite having brief visits in England, Lewis grew up more African than English. He was initiated into the Kikuyu tribe from a young age where he learned to hunt and even speak Kikuyu as fluently as he could speak English. Lewis quickly established a spirit of discovery due to his foundation of the outdoors. At age 13, Lewis found his first discovery. While looking for birds, Lewis found ancient stone tools. This is what sparked his love for prehistory, and later paved the way to his career as an anthropologist. Lewis decided that he wanted to study. Lewis began studying at Cambridge University in 1922. The following year after experiencing a rugby accident, Leakey was unable to continue his studies. As fate would have it, this opened the door for his first paleontological expedition in Africa. He spent the next couple of years in Africa and returned in 1925 to resume his studies. In 1926, Lewis graduated with a degree in anthropology and archaeology. Over the next few years, Lewis spent his time in East Africa doing multiple excavations, which would ultimately earn him his PhD in 1930. He quickly became a rising star in the anthropological community. Two years before obtaining his PhD, he marries his first wife, Frida Avern. In 1932, Lewis lands his first major discovery. Lewis discovered fossils and claimed that they were the first true ancestors of human history. After returning to England, Lewis received much praise for his finds and became even more famous, although he did receive multiple doubts. Despite having a child and a pregnant wife at home, Lewis begins having an affair with Mary Nicole, who would later become Mary Leakey, his second wife. In response to multiple doubts of his most recent finds, he invites geologist Percy Boswell to his current dig. Unfortunately, due to inadequate documentation, he was unable to identify either site. Boswell's report of this heavily damaged his scientific reputation. Due to controversy in his personal life and in regards to his most recent finds, his academic career began a downward spiral. Finding himself unable to hold a steady job, he found small pay in speaking and writing. Desperate to find well-paid work during the Second World War, Lewis found the opportunity for intelligence work in Africa. This also allowed him and Mary to continue archaeological work in their downtime. Following the Second World War, Lewis became the curator of the Corindum Museum. This allowed Lewis to return to his home country of Kenya, where he could perform archaeological and paleontological work. In 1947, Lewis successfully established the first Pan-African Congress of Prehistory. This was Lewis's first step of untarnishing his reputation as an anthropologist. He and Mary began excavating many sites in the 1950s, with a main focus on the Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. In 1948, they discovered the Miocene ape fossil in Olduvai Gorge, which led to an increase in funds. Despite this, they were financially limited to what they could accomplish. However, they continued to make significant discoveries. After over a decade of numerous excavations in 1959, Mary discovered their first hominid fossil. It was a robust skull with large teeth and was found in a deposit that also contained stone tools. Inflating its importance, Lewis claimed it was an ancestor of humans despite its unhuman looks. It is now known as Australopithecus boisei. It was a major find that gave the Leakeys tremendous publicity. The National Geographic magazine featured many articles on the Leakeys and their finds, and even allowed more funding for them to continue their work in Old Uvai Gorge. Within the next few years, the Leakeys found their next major discovery. In 1964, they found a much more human-like hominid known as Homo habilis. Homo habilis looked much more like a modern-day human than Boise did, which led the Leakeys to believe that it was a more direct descendant. Homo habilis received its name, which means handyman, due to its use of stone tools. Due to his success, Lewis was able to be involved in many other projects, including the formation of the tribemates. Lewis was able to fund three separate expeditions, sending three women to study various primates. This included Barut Gladicus, who was sent to Borneo to study orangutans. Diane Fossey was sent to Rwanda to study mountain gorillas, which inspired the movie Gorillas in the Mist. Most notably, he was responsible for sending Jane Goodall for a decades-long field study of chimps in the wild. 
This work became very significant because this allowed Jane to study humanity's closest living relative. Without a doubt, few people have contributed more to the anthropological world than Leakey and his team. Lewis Leakey's work in Quest for Knowledge has given us pivotal information today about one of humanity's biggest questions, where do we come from? Lewis's discoveries have also inspired many others to try and answer that same question. On October 1st, 1972, Lewis died of a heart attack, leaving behind a wife and three sons. He spent nearly half of a century contributing to what we know today about humanity's origin. Lewis's spirit for discovery lives on today through the Leakey Foundation, which is actively spreading scientific knowledge and successfully funding multiple anthropological expeditions around the world today.